Good evening. Today is the 21st of February 2024. It's the Bible study of this Wednesday. And we are in the team of Paul and the Holy Spirit. This is Apostle Paul and the Holy Spirit. And our texts are taken from Acts verse Acts sixteen verse six to twenty five. And Acts 19, verse 6, and also Galatians 3, 1 through 18. So that's the team, and that's the text. The texts are. So before we go any further, I just like to draw to the table. For a word of prayer. Father, this evening we just want to thank you. We just want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you for your faithfulness, God. We want to thank you for your love and faithfulness all the way to the cross this evening. You were sent tonight so that we, my God, can go back to the Father. You took us, you took our sin, God, and you bore it on the cross. You suffered and died. But the third day you rose again from the dead. And that's why, God, you die in our place. We were there with you, God. Although you were sinless, God, you took our sins. So, God, this evening, I just want to thank you for the, your faithfulness, your love that you showed. So, thank you this evening for the word that I'm going to bring your word, God, not my word. Your word is always blessed. And I thank you for that, God. Holy Spirit, embold me with your wisdom and your understanding and knowledge so that the word can get go forth and someone can be saved this evening. So I thank you. I thank you again, God. Bless the people who are on the Zoom and who are listening and give them, God, the insight and the wisdom, God, also. You take the praise and you take the thanks this evening through your matchless name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Like I said, this is Bible study time. So at this point in time, if you don't by now have your Bibles, I would encourage you to do so. The team is shared. The texts are mentioned. And you can just sit back and be in the Word. Now the book of Acts Book of Acts emphasizes the work of God through the Holy Spirit in the lives of people who developed themselves, who devoted themselves to Jesus Christ. And Paul was one of those persons. The book of Galatians was written 
to clarify and define the truth of the gospel. And uh, that scripture can be found in Galatians 2, 5. But first I would like to read to you <clears throat> from Acts 15, starting with verse 30. And the word of God says, so when they were sent off, they came to Antioch. And when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the letter. This letter was a letter at the Jerusalem decree where they were deciding and where they had decided about um, how the Gentiles would be treated, whether they should be circumcised or not circumcised. And they had already come up with um, they should not be circumcised. But the things that they should be doing is that they should be abstaining from things over offered to idols, from blood, and from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. And they must keep themselves from those things So that was the letter that was sent, that was taken to the, the new convert in Antioch. So again, it says, so when they were sent off, they came to Antioch. And when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the letter. When they had read it, they rejoiced over it, over its encouragement. Now, Judas and Silas themselves, being prophets also, exhorted and strengthened the brethren with many words. And after they had stayed there for a time, they were sent back with greetings from the brethren to the apostles. However, it seems good to Silas to remain there. Paul and Barnabas also remain in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord, with many others also. Then after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, let us now go back and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of God and see how they are doing. Now Barnabas was determined to take with them John called Mark. But Paul insisted that they should not take with them the one who had departed from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. Then the contention became so sharp that they parted from one another. The contention between Paul and, Mark, and Barnabas. 
And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and departed. Being commended by the brethren to the grace of God, and he went through Syria and Sicilia, strengthening the churches. That's Paul and Silas. Well, in chapter 16, starting in verse 1, then he came to Derbe and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there, named Timothy. Prior to that, prior to the going into Derby and Lystria, Paul and Barnabas, who parted company over John Mark, it shows that even within the apostolic fellowship, perfect unity was not always obtainable. Sometimes God's workers have to agree to go separate ways. But there is always hope for reunion. Now at this point, Barnabas is not mentioned anymore in the book of Acts after this incident. Continue to read from chapter 16. Then they came to Derby and Lystria, and that's Paul and Silas. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed. But his father was Greek. And he was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystria and Aichium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him. And he took him and circumcised him. Because of the Jews who were in that region. Because the Jews knows that his father was, because they also knew that his father was Greek. And as they went through the city, they delivered the decree to keep which was determined by the apostles and elders at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. Starting with verse 6, it says, Now, when they had gone through Parega and the region of Gal Galatea, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Maestra, they tried to go into Bethania, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing through Maestra, they came down to Taurus, and a vision appears to Paul in the night. 
a man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him. This is in the vision, saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after he had seen the vision, immediately he sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. Therefore, sailing to Taurus, we ran a straight course to Samatria, Samatris, and the next day came to Naples, and from there to Philippi, which is, which is in the foremost city of that part of Macedonia, a colony. And we were staying in that city for some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went out of the city to the riverside, where prayers were customary made. And we sat down and spoke to the women who met there. Now a certain woman uh, uh, named Lydia heard us, and she was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart, her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, stay, saying, "If we have judged, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay." So she persuaded us. Now it happened. As we went to prayer, that a certain slave girl possessed with spirit of divination met us, who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. Who proclaimed to us the way of salvation. Some time ago, the Christians were known as the way. And so this girl, she, she had a spirit of divination, as they would call it, fortune telling, and used to make her masters a lot of money, a lot of cash. And she was mentioning to the people that these men were servants of the Most High God who proclaimed to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many, many days. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to her, to said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. And Paul, of, but Paul greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit in her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. At this point in time, I want to go to Philippians, Philippians verse 2, 10 and 11. 
Paul said to the woman of with divination, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. Philippians 2, 10 and 11 says that the name which is above every name, that name which is above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So Paul knew in speaking the name of Jesus that that spirit of divination would have come out of this woman at that hour but when her masters saw that their hopes of profit was gone they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities and they brought them to the magistrate and said these men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city. And they teach customs which are not lawful for us, being Romans, to, to receive or to observe. Then the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates, tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with a rod. And when they had laid many stripes on them, they threw them into the prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Having received such a charge, he put them in the inner prison more secure portion and fasten their feet to the socks. But at midnight, but at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing him to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone chain were loosed and the keeper of the prison awoken from deep sleep and seeing the prison door open supposing that the prisoners had fled drew his sword and was about to kill himself but Paul, with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm. We are all here. Then he called for a light. It tells you that the place was in darkness. So the, day, the jailer called for a light and ran in and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas.
And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? That's the question tonight. What must I do to be saved? And this was the answer. So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You and you will be saved. You and your household. And then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now, when he had brought them in the house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul, who was a disciple, who was a follower of Jesus, was also a prophet, he believed in Jesus Christ. And by the grace of God, Paul continued to live for, live for Jesus. He continued to live for Jesus because he knew who was his Redeemer. This evening, I trust that the word of God was read to you, not preached to you, and there's something in the word of God that you might have gleaned from. So continue to read the word of God, continue to study the word of God, and see what Paul, with the Holy Spirit, with the combination of the Holy Spirit and Paul, what they have done throughout the book of Acts. May God add a, a blessing to this word. And may you stay blessed. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen and amen. Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake together, and running over. So you know what time it is? It's time for you to give. And in order to do that, all you need to do is go to our church's website. Go to www.fgany.org. That's www.fgany.org. And when you get to the webpage, all you have to do is click give and it will open up where you'd be able to pay your tithe, your offering, or give to any special ministry that you would normally give to. So don't forget, go to www.fgany.org and give.